Hi, this is Mark from Wikidesign. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use wildcard searches inside Google search and YouTube search. Um, so I like to call this technique um, search analysis alphabet soup. So it sounds complicated, but it's really simple and can be very useful if you're looking to come up with new um, ideas for blog articles or videos and you just need a little extra help on you know what it is that you can write about so let's just jump right into it so let's say you're going to create a video article around toyota camrys um, and let's say you want to you know come up with some real data that people are actually searching for so you probably know that google has the auto suggest and um, you know things like that so that's using that technique but using it a little more creatively so let's say you wanted to create, um, you know, a how-to video on something with Toyota Camry, but you kind of just need some ideas. So you would just do your normal search, like how to, and then this is where the wild card comes in. So you put an asterisk here, and as you can see, Google's going to auto suggest all of these different ideas. Now, where I like to call the alphabet soup comes into play is just go down every letter down the alphabet and just put in a letter at the end. So for example, let's start with A. So the very first one, how to restart a Toyota Camry airbag light. So that is pulling the A, same thing here. So cabin air filter. So Google is going to, you know, give you all of these suggestions and it will bold whatever it thinks would be a good match for you. So then we can go to B. And the, so a really good video would be, you know, how to connect Toyota Camry Bluetooth. That seems to be what people are really searching for on this one. Um, so then you can go C, you know, D. So you get the idea. Um, now, the cool thing is, so that's Google search. So if you're going to create a blog article or any content around that um, on your website. You can use this. Now, you can use the same thing over here in YouTube and the great thing is that you're going to get different results because people are searching, you know, videos are a little bit different than uh, content. So let's say a, so we have an air filter. So that's, in the, so you could create, so for example, this one, Toyota Camry air filter, that was with a, let's go to a here and do they have air filter here? So what you would like to do is if you want, if you're going to create the same piece of content, if you're going to create a video and a blog article, uh, make sure that they kind of match in the two different systems because then you're going to be able to rank in Google search for a video results and a blog article. And there's a good possibility that you'll get the featured snippet that way. So like I said, it's kind of fun. It's uh, more of a creative way to do it. So I like to just kind of go down here and do all the different letters. Um, what I recommend is, you know, click on one of these and just kind of see what it is that you know some of these other videos have done you can look at the view count you can get an idea and then just create a video that you know uh, is more current like this one's five years ago so i mean you the possibilities are like endless but what i recommend is trying to get uh if you're like i said if you're going to create a video and a blog article try to make it where they're similar in the search results here because um, I definitely have done that for some of our content and we rank in uh, uh, Google search, uh, featured snippet. So we got like three pieces of content, uh, three, three different ways that we've ranked with uh, one piece of content. So definitely a really cool tool and uh, something that not a lot of people know about that you can use. So just have fun with it and take, um, you know, your good results and just put them in a spreadsheet and just create the content around that. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks. This is Mark from Wikidesign.